and welcome back to another video! My name is Priscilla and I upload makeup related content on my channel. If you are new, welcome. I do hope you consider subscribing to this wonderful channel. And if you're coming back, well, welcome back! In today's video, we are going to continue the declutter series. This is part four of the series. I do have five videos. The last one is going to be the eyeshadow palette declutter. So stay tuned for that. But if you guys are ready to continue decluttering with me, then keep on watching. I do have some eyeshadow sticks, some liquid eyeshadows, gel eyeliners, regular eyeliners. I am going to go ahead and declutter these. Most of them will probably be decluttered. We're going to start off with the Avon Ever Extra Lasting Eyeshadow Pencil. I do have three shades in Crystal Taupe, Amethyst, and Aquamarine. Pretty shades, but they are quite old and i actually don't really reach for them so i am going to toss them so i'm actually going to do this in groups so first i'm going to do my eyeshadow sticks so i already started decluttering the avon eyeshadow stick here i have a nyx one in the shade milk i'm going to toss this this is quite old i have another one in the shade lavender i'm going to also toss this one as well it is Old. I have a wet and wild multi stick and this is in the shade uh, Keep digging and it is a gold shade. I'm gonna keep this one. This one is more of a recent purchase I do have a few of these Ardell ones. This one is in the shade gun metal It is a black but if you saw like it was almost coming out So I'm pretty sure it's because it's drying. I actually didn't purchase this that long ago, but I don't use them. I got them at Dollar Tree. I'm going to toss that one. Um, I also have the shade Make It With You. See how like they come out? So if it does that, that just, I don't know. So I'm going to toss that one. I have a Trustique Kona Coffee one. Just dark brown. Ooh, look at that. That is not good. I'm going to go ahead and toss that. That's old. I have a LA Colors Marshmallow Eye Pencil. Um, I actually like this color, so I am going to go ahead and keep this one. It's I purchased it last year. I have a Chella Ivory Lace Highlighter Crayon. I actually use this for the waterline, but I am going to toss this one. I have a Milani Shadow Eyes in Champagne Toast. I am going to go ahead and toss this one as well. I just don't reach for these, if I'm being quite honest. I do have the Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil in continuous almond. I am keeping this because I like this for my waterline. I have a few more of the Ardell shadow sticks. This one is in the shade Slade. They feel a little drying now. So I'm just going to be tossing all of these. So this one, I'm going to go ahead and toss this one here. I do have, this is actually an e.l.f. eyeliner and shadow stick. I don't, it's like a green shade. It's pretty shade. It's that one right here. But I know this is super old. I don't even know if they make these. And then the liner. So I am going to toss this one. I also have the Epic Smoke Liner by NYX. I did purchase this one last year. So I am going to go ahead and keep it. It has the liner and then a brush so you can smudge it out i have the pinky rose in jazz it's just this kind of color a copper but i'm gonna go ahead and toss it i also have a jordana another one in tenacious brown just a brown i'm gonna toss this i have a bobby brown cream shadow stick in golden pink it's the ship champagne color it's pretty but i honestly just don't reach for it it's very creamy too but i am gonna go ahead and toss it i also have another wet and wild pump keep going waterproof 
and sweat proof eyeshadow and this one is in the shade fave leggings I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep this one yeah I'm gonna keep it for now if I have eyeliners that um that I have that are similar to this color then I'll toss it but if I don't then I'm gonna keep this one and then the last one here is the color stick by color pop and happy days it is a metallic one um, I actually just got this last year so i am gonna go ahead and just keep this one here i'm still not sure i have to try it again to see if i like it i i'm not really sure if i'm a fan if i'm not then i am gonna toss it next we're gonna go into our liquid eyeliners we have one from la color this is an eye marker in brown well that's stuck so this is in the trash this one is from, is this Dragon Liner? Uh, I don't know what this one is from, but it's really old. And I don't even grab it, so I'm going to go ahead and toss this one. I have a Super Cat Liquid Black Eyeliner from Soap Glory. This one is old too, but I am going to toss it. I have one from Jessie Girl. Oh yeah, that one is really old too, so we're going to toss it. We have this one from Appeal, I believe it was, and it's an adhesive eyeliner. This one I am going to use it just to try it out when I have falsies. And then this is a ColourPop liquid liner in the shade Crazy. And this one I just recently got it, so I am going to go ahead and keep it. Lastly, we just have our eyeliners. So we'll go through these. We'll start off with a Rimmel. Scandal Eyes. Waterproof Cold. What is it? Kajal. <laughs> this one is in the shade Taupe. And that one is dry. So let's go ahead and toss it. We have a flower one. Vinyl Eyes. So it has, it's black with glitter. I don't reach for it, so I'm going to toss it. I have an Essence Gel Eye Pencil. It's waterproof. It's a gray. I'm going to keep it, try it out. If I don't like it, then I'll toss it. Don't remember, honestly. I have a Italia, Italia Deluxe Ultra Fine Eyeliner in Sky Teal. Well, that's a pretty shade, but I know these ones are old, so I'm going to go ahead and toss these. I have an Urban Decay one in Stag. Oh, I didn't even realize this one. Well, I'm going to go ahead and toss it. I don't reach for it. I have LA Colors Eyeliner in Cobalt Blue. That's a pretty shade. I'm going to keep it on the side. If I have another one like this, I'll toss it. If not, then I might just keep it to try it out. I have a Milk Makeup Long Wear Gel Liner. Uh, oh, that's the sharpener. It's a nude shade. I'm going to keep this one. These are good for the waterline. I just don't know if it lasts good. I have to just keep it to see. And if it doesn't, then I'm just going to toss it. I have an Essence... Long lasting eye pencil and hot chocolate. I am gonna keep this one. I have another Italia in neon purple. Ooh, look at that shade. Oh, and that one is creamier than the other one. Ooh, I think I have I want to just keep it just in case. So let's put it to the side. I have another LA Colors Eyeliner in Lovely Lavender. That's a pretty color as well. I am going to toss this one. I have a All May Intense Eye Color Eyeliner in Purple Amethyst. This one I know is old. 
it's a nice purple shade but i am gonna go ahead and toss it i have another italia one this one is in the shade turquoise oh this one is dry out like dried too so i am gonna toss this one i do have the Il Maquillage and Kathleen Lights Collab Eyeliners. Um, I do have three of them, but these ones don't have the shade. These, uh, oh, there's one more. Oh, I think, I think the other one is with my everyday makeup. Um, I am going to be keeping these ones. There are three shades. There is a, um, a purple, like plum color, a copper and a bronze so i'm gonna go ahead and keep them i do have the ali ali oop pen pal and it has the black eyeliner it has a brown one it has the lip liner and a highlighter so i'm gonna go ahead and toss it i do have another essence long lasting eye pencil and hot swatch I actually like this color for um, on my eyelid as an eyeliner. Keeping this one. I have a LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in Vivid. Oh, let's see. Oh, pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and toss the Italia one and keep this one. I'm going to toss this. Keep that. Oh, wow, I have another Italia one in royal blue. <laughs> well, that one's pretty. And it, it was, it went on smooth too. It didn't like um, skip. So I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to toss the LA, LA color one. I have an M Cosmetics water liner in emerald. This one is really, really old. Ooh. And I'm going to go ahead and toss this one. I have a hard candy in pro white. Stay in line. Mechanical gel eyeliner. Tossing that. I have a ColourPop BFF cream gel eyeliner in Wildcat. I am keeping this one. This one is fairly new. I haven't tried it actually. Have I? I don't think so. I have a Pixie by Petra and this Silky Eye Pen in the shade Deep Plum. Ooh, that's nice and creamy still. I am going to keep this one. I do have the LA Girl Ultimate Eye Intense Day Auto Liner in Deepest Brown. Definitely keeping this one. These are actually really good. I do have two of the Physician's Formula ones. I am tossing these. These are super old. Like super, super old. Yep, that's how old. So I'm going to toss these. I do have the Wet n Wild Carefree Waterproof Eyeliners in Wild Energy Black and Blue Punch Buggy. This was part of the stitch collection. So you just have a black and a oh, blue. And this one has a bit of a, oops, sorry. This one does have a bit of glitter in it. These are actually fairly new, so I'm keeping both of them. I have a Cuvin liner black oh i don't know what's going on here but i'm gonna toss this one and then i have a uh this kitten one from tarte and it's in bed three and i am gonna go ahead and toss it keeping tossing i think i did really good so proud so proud So we're going to declutter foundations and sprays. 
So we'll first start off with the flower foundation about face. I have mine in 10. Um, I actually have picked this one up at Dollar Tree. I wanted to try it. I didn't care for it. So I am going to go ahead and toss this one. I do have the Lancome Renegade Lift Makeup. Um, this one here, I have been wanting to declutter this one. Or try to at least use it up, but I just haven't. So I am going to go ahead and declutter it now. I also have the CoverGirl At Last Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundation. I am going to go ahead and keep this one. I want to just try it out a bit more. I feel like this is the one that does... Uh, settle in my fine lines, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it one more time just to see. I have the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluron and Aloe Vera. Um, this one I think it does good too. It reminds me of the Ame one that I'm gonna show you guys in a bit, but I just don't remember if this one also settles in my fine lines. I stopped using them because I always just go to my Wet n Wild one, but I need to put this one back in my rotation. I have the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. It's already like breaking up. I'm going to go ahead and toss this one. I actually purchased it at Dollar Tree. It was there at one point. I don't think I cared for it. But I'm going to go ahead and toss it. I do have the All May Skin Perfecting Comfort Matte Foundation. Um, this one, I actually do like this one as well, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. I do have two of the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundations. Um, I also have picked these up at Dollar Tree. I picked up three different shades, actually. When I was dry, when I was pregnant with my son, I was really dry. So I loved these during my pregnancy with him. Now I am no longer dry, so I am going to go ahead and toss these. And then I do have the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. So I do like this one to help lighten foundations. The only thing is this one is more of a thicker formula than some of my foundations. So... I'm not sure if it would mess up the formulation of it, but um, it does help lighten the foundations. Now for my uh, primers and setting praise. So I did have this primer here. I didn't have it with my other face primers. I am going to be keeping this one. I like it in this drawer because I can keep it upright. So um, I am going to be keeping this one. Now for setting sprays. So I do have the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This one it's already done. So I'm going to go ahead and toss it. So in this one here, it's actually not the Clean Skin Club. It's actually a essence setting spray. I didn't like the bottle it came in. So I moved it into this one. And because I did move it into this one with this spray, I actually do like it. It was just the spray itself. I just didn't like how it would like, I felt like it was squirting me. But yeah, so <laughs> I realized that it's in the wrong bottle, but I am keeping this one. I also have the Hard Candy Matte Sheer Envy Setting Spray. It says mattifying controls oil minis minimizes pores. I don't think it does all of that, but I like it just to set my uh, foundation to help that powder look go away. I do have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Spray. I am going to go ahead and toss this one. And then I have the Beauty Crop Coco Gold Mist Hydrating Setting Spray. It does have the glitter on the bottom, so you just... Give it a good shake. And then you can see all the glitter particles. I do not like this to set my face with. But it's a good spray for the body. To give you like a nice glow. So we do have all of my eyelashes here. I have some LA Color eyelashes. These usually I pick up at Dollar Tree when they have them. Actually most of my eyelashes come from Dollar Tree. If I'm being quite honest. The LA Flare DD Front. 3D French Lash, also got at Dollar Tree. Another Dollar Tree LA Colors. The Elf Lux Lash Kit, I also picked this one up at Dollar Tree. And the Date, date Night ones as well. And then I do have Ioni ones, so... Oh, that one's empty, huh? Um, I do have the Three Strands Wispy Medium Full Lash Extensions. Um, I also have the Short version of those. 
I have a natural doll lashes. I have the natural cat eye light. I have wispy natural flare. Wispy full dramatic. I have the volume cluster doll. I think I used these ones. Another wispy full dramatic. I think I have two of these. And then I have the lash extensions in long. So I have the short, medium, and long ones. So you should put it right here. With these ones. So I am going to go ahead and keep these. And then I do have in this area here, I do have my um, like glue. So I have my... Um, tweezers and then my glue here so I'm not going to toss any of that that will stay so this area is going to be good so the only thing I have left to actually declutter here are my eyeshadow palettes and I do want to go through all of them including my single eyeshadows because I it's just time for me to say bye to them most of them since I don't really use them Enjoyed this declutter series if you did give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't you can still subscribe to this channel turn on those notification bells to be notified of upcoming videos I am gonna have a eyeshadow palette declutter coming soon so definitely turn on your notifications so that you are alerted for that and I will see you all on my next video have a blessed and wonderful day, everyone. Bye.